Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Uckman here at the CME Group with your morning market stir for Thursday, March 26th. Tough week, tough day for the bulls. Down 1.5% in the e S&P, down 31. 2054 was the close, giving back most of the gains from last week. Dow futures down 300, 17,649. And the NASDAQ down 2% plus, down 105 points at 43.23.5. So it's been an ugly couple of days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, for the bulls anyways. The dollar continuing to slide. It was up actually 25 yesterday, but still hanging around that 97 level. The euro currency down 42 at 109.72. Bonds backed off 23 points at 164.17. This dollar unwinding has given a bounce to some, to some resources. Crude oil up $1.70 yesterday at 49.20. And gold was up 6 points at 11.97. So after Monday... Tuesday, Wednesday slide, where all the markets closed on their lows each day. Where do the markets stand on this Thursday morning? Well, we're down one more time. We're down 14 points in the E-mini S&P at 2040, testing that recent support. Dow futures are down 130, 17,520. And the NASDAQ, Tech 100 is down 45 at 42.79. The dollar slide continues, like I alluded to, down 57, 96.63. And we've got the euro currency back above 110. 110.21 is where it is right now, up 49. Bonds are seeing a little bit of a bounce up 10 ticks, 164.26. The yields remain, remain beaten down, 2.49 in the 30-year and 1.90 in that 10-year note. Crude oil back above 50, $51 a barrel, up $1.80 here this morning. And gold above the 1,200 threshold, $1,208 per ounce, up $11. So to wrap up the current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we have weakness again. Down 14 in the S&P, down 130 in the Dow, and down 45 in the NASDAQ 100. I will see you early Friday morning for your morning market start to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.